Okay, so here we are in uh, After Effects. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a really simple quick key on some green screen footage. Okay, so I've already set my composition and just clicking and dragging my green screen footage here. Okay, and just quickly just want to first acknowledge uh, hollywoodcamerawork.us here for all this um, footage of theirs that you can download for free to use for you to uh, practice some keying if you so would, so wish, uh, full HD and everything like that. Okay, so thank you to them for that. So back here in After Effects, what we've done already, click and drag this over here, and what we're gonna do is Effect and Keying, Key Light 1.2. So Effect, Keying, Key Light 1.2. All right, over here you've got the eyedropper, it's screen color, we're gonna select the green with that. So clicking the eyedropper, select the green that you wanna key, click. Immediately you can see that it's done a pretty good key of the footage there. Alright, so next what we can do is go to view over here on the left. Instead of final result we go to screen matte. What this brings up is this black and white image here. The black represents what is being keyed out and the white represents what's staying in. What we want to do is get this white as or clear as possible so that we can get a nice key on it. And the best way to do that is under over here on screen matte, bring that menu down, is clip black and clip white. First of all, we're going to clip the white a bit, bring it down, just to cut out all, the, all that bit of black through the white there. Okay, and that looks pretty good. And the clip black you can use to just remove a bit of the edge on there. If your green screen isn't entirely well evenly lit you will find that the um, a few patches where the green isn't the same as the where you've eye dropped it is going to be a bit different but your clip black will do a pretty good job of removing that in fact it's quite powerful um, you can do a bit of screen pre-blur I'm just going to add about 0.5 to this not too much just to add a bit of blur around the around the uh, key there just that's the quickest way to do a really good key Okay, back to final result, and yeah, not looking too bad. This clip is only about three seconds long, so just to make sure that I don't end up with any black at the end of my clip, I'm just gonna bring the work end area to the end of the clip here. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is to export it, we're gonna go Composition, Add to Render Queue. All right, so this will pop up down here, Output Module, Click the lossless. Now in the video output here, this is the important part, is RGB plus alpha. That exports that rear uh, transparent area, makes keeping it transparent when it goes into Final Cut. If you do have audio in your video, you can click audio output and that will export the audio as well. But in this clip, we don't have it, so it's not as important. Hit OK. Let's save it to uh, tutorials, green, Screen, keyed, we'll save that there. All right, hit render, five frames. This isn't gonna to take too long at all. Think, 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 settings if you want to, and just see what effect that you get with that. Um, basically, the more time that you wanna spend on it, if it is something that you want to do really well, you can use those effects to your advantage and really keying out as best you can. But as you can see, we've got a pretty good key through here already. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop into Final Cut now. So this is that original footage there. Just play that through. Okay, that's that original footage there. We're gonna import the other file under Desktop Tutorials, Green Screen Keyed, Choose, okay. I'm just going to have to render that a bit first. Okay. Da, 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 da. It's good when you're only working with three seconds of footage, otherwise it might take a bit longer. And there it is keyed out. So if we just maybe just add a bit of colour behind that, if we go with matte colour, maybe just add that behind it. 
just so we can see what it looks like. All right, not going to bother keying it out. And you can see there that it's a pretty good key. So you can put your character in whatever setting you want, and you can see that it's quite a nice key. And when you've got close-up shots like this with the hair, it can be difficult, but as you can see, we've got a pretty good key. And that would be uh, keying in After Effects. Nice and simple, quick and easy.